For animators, the world of animation is no longer a gateway to the world of dreams, but a gateway to mental illness. Today, Japan has become a country of anime, not only in Japan, but also abroad. Japanese animation has become a beloved part of society. Many foreigners have learned about Japanese culture, studied the language, and then traveled to Japan thanks to watching anime. Anime has become representative of Japan's culture and is a major industry. However, behind the glamorous anime boom, did you know that many animators are forced to work under poor conditions? In the game world, creators are the top of the pecking order. In the Japanese animation industry, they are at the bottom of the pyramid, working tirelessly to construct great monuments for little or no pay. The industry calls these slaves young animators. Today, I would like to talk about the dark side of Japanese animation industry. Meshida. Hey guys, it's Meshida. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm a comedian and I introduce funny Japanese culture. If you are interested in that, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please check out my Patreon page too. And I'm organizing my solo stand-up comedy show in Tokyo. If you are interested in that, Please check out the link below. So, see you in Tokyo. Meshida. The Japanese animation market is growing. In 2010, the animation market was 1.3 trillion yen. However, due to the increase in video distribution sites, users who originally pirated shows are now paying to watch Japanese anime. The market size grew to 2.7 trillion yen by 2021, more than doubling in 10 years. The Japanese animation industry is growing as fast as the adult diaper industry for the elderly. This is partly due to the cost-effective nature of animation for video distribution companies. A Hollywood or Korean drama costs several hundred million yen to produce one episode. Japanese animation is relatively inexpensive, ranging from 30 to 50 million yen to produce one episode. Japan is selling anime at a bargain price in order to promote it. The problem is that the money is not reaching the companies that create the anime. Meshida. The reason Japanese animators are not making money is to due to the structure of the animation business. The Japanese animation industry is dominated by production committees. A production committee is a group of companies that invest in the production of animated films. The companies that make up the production committee include major publishing companies, TV stations, advertising companies, and distribution companies. They are responsible for everything from planning to fundraising, and they jointly own the copyrights to the works. When the work sells, companies that invested in the work receive a share of the profits according to the investment ratios. Incidentally, they are the ones who select the production company and ask it to produce the animation. However, the production company is only in charge of production and cannot own the copyright. Moreover, the production company only gets about 5% of the production budget as profit. So, the profit that the subcontractor production companies receive is even less. Currently, more than 40% of the nearly 800 animation production companies are said to be in the red. The more anime that production companies create, the more they lose money. The production committee, however, makes more money the more films it produces. They prey on production companies and monopolize profits. They are basically like Amazon, but for anime. In addition, the production committee is responsible for the overseas distribution, domestic distributions, merchandising, and music of the work. Each of these is handled by separate companies in the committee, for which they get a commission. And this is said to be what earns the animation industry money. The higher the investment rate, 
that more as a company has the opportunity to earn huge commissions, but only a select few companies are allowed to participate in these production committees. And the selection of committee members is a mystery. It's like a country club filled with vested interests. When a film becomes a hit, they get a lot of profit, but most production companies do not get any bonuses. Some production companies say, if an animated film becomes a hit, you should pay as a bonus, but the production committees push the trickle-down approach based on the idea that if their own incomes increase, the profits should trickle down to the animators because that worked so well for the Japanese economy. Upper management fills their own glass, then drinks all the profits. Currently, 300 animations are produced annually. Only 30% of these are profitable, the profits returning to the production committee. So, why mass produce animations that do not make money? Also, why are foreign companies, such as Chinese companies, trying to invest in Japanese animation? And why are the animators not benefiting from this? This is also because of the production committee system. Currently, Chinese and other foreign companies are trying to invest huge amounts of money in animation. When a Chinese company makes a huge investment in a single film, the percentage of investment by Japanese companies in that work will be low, and they will earn less money. When a Chinese company makes a huge investment in a single film, the percentage of investment by Japanese companies in that work will be low, and they will earn less money. So, the committee produces lots of animation at a low price to try and reduce Chinese companies' investments in each film in order to protect their own interest. The result is production companies being asked to create animation as cheaply as ever. To protect the industry from Chinese companies, the Japanese animation industry is sacrificing its animators. Currently, the average annual salary of animator is 4.4 million yen, which is much better than before. The average number of vacation days has also increased to 6.8 days per month. The working conditions of animators are improving. If this were Europe or the US, there would be strikes. Currently, it is said that only 3.3% of all animators are more than 10 million yen a year. The average annual salary is being raised by a few top creators. In a sense, the animation industry is a microcosm of our society. The ultra wealthy, who account for 1% of the world's population, own almost half of the world's wealth. Japan's top animators are enough to be wealthy. Unfortunately, in the US, they would be working across. However, currently, most animators are freelancers. They say that working long hours for free is the norm, with no benefits from the company. The treatment of young animators in particular is the worst. The average annual salary for young animators in their 20s is between 1.5 and 2.5 million yen. However, there are many animators who earn less than 100,000 yen per month, even though they work almost every day without a break. And among young animators, there are many who suffer from mental illnesses due to the long working hours. For animators, the world of animation is no longer a gateway to the world of dreams, but a gateway to mental illness. In Japan, being an animator is now seen as a hard and unprofitable job. Recently, the number of young people who want to become animators has been drastically decreasing. Soon, the animation industry may have no choice but to hire cheap workers from other Asian countries to work as slaves, I mean animators. Just like the factory and nursing care industries, ironically, 
It's always the hardest industries that pay the least, and animation pays so little that even people from poorer countries don't want to do it. However, there is currently a trend among Chinese production companies with money to hire young Japanese creators under better and better conditions. In the near future, Chinese production companies will dominate the Japanese animation scene and be entirely staffed by Japanese animators. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and please give me super thanks. So, see you soon. Bye bye.